Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Wednesday, August the 1st. I'm Clay Emo at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, and I'm a founding member of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. Speaking of good looking, look at this. No, not this. Look at this. I'm in beautiful Redwood City, California, just 30 minutes out of San Francisco, part of our Emo family road trip as we make our way down the I-5, eventually getting to Anaheim, Disneyland, Mickey Mouse and Friends. And I want to post a, one or two videos a week on this channel to stay active, to make sure that you know I'm still alive, and to make sure that you know that I'm still repping my favorite team, the Vancouver Canucks. And look, I wore the shirt all day as we went on the Golden Gate Bridge. We saw Lombard Street, that crazy crooked street. And we even saw those painted ladies' houses from the Full House credits. I don't know anything about that. My family enjoyed that. And yeah, I even took a picture of me, myself wearing this on the Golden Gate Bridge sent it out on Twitter and the Canucks liked it and replied to it, which was kind of was really nice of them actually. Always repping the Canucks wherever I go. And in the past week, there's been three kind of big things that happened with the, t with the club. Since last Wednesday, Trevor Linden got ousted, Jake Furtanen signed his two-year contract, and defenseman Quinn Hughes decided, announced that his decision to go back to the University of Michigan for a sophomore year. So probably one bad thing in there, obviously uh, Linden leaving, one good thing, the Vertanen signing, and one neutral thing, or you could say it's a good thing, um, you know, got, had a lot of feedback, but I think it's still okay that Quinn Hughes is going back. There's absolutely no rush. Maybe he comes up at the end of the season, gets a look like Besser has, like Godet has, but let him play for another year in Michigan, become an even stronger player, stronger leader, and you can tell from everything said that he wants to go back and win that championship, that NCAA championship with the University of Michigan. One thing I want to talk about today that has to do with Quinn Hughes is going on right now, just a few hours from Vancouver, back home, it's the World Junior Summer Showcase. Basically, it's a prelude for four, four countries, the Canada, the United States, Finland, and Sweden. They've all had clubs there. Some uh, US and Canada have even done a split squad for the first couple first couple um, days to make it an eight-team tournament. Now, we'll go, I'm sorry, a six-team tournament. Now go down to four. So it's basically a tournament that goes from July 30 to August 4th. August 4th. They played games on the 30th and 31st. They're taking a, a couple-day break now, or at least a one-day break, and then they'll have games going on the second, third, and the fourth. So it's quick. It's only a week. Those four countries, like I said, Canada, US, Sweden, and Finland, and basically all these teams, all these players are basically trying to impress their, their national team management so they get a look and they get a good crack at making the world junior team which is of course the more important tournament and that tournament is taking place end of December start of January right here or not right here I'm in California back home in Vancouver and in Victoria and I can't wait to see you know as a Canuck season ticket holder I know we have we have chances to get tickets to some of those games so I can't wait for that but that's down the road even the start of the Canucks season is down the road two months out but I do want to quickly talk about this world junior summer showcase there are four Canucks players playing in it we of course have Quinn Hughes as I mentioned we have Jet Wu our second round draft pick he's playing for Team Canada of course and then we have Michael DiPietro our goaltending pick from last year I mentioned a couple of videos ago or a few videos ago that I was very impressed with him at the summer showdown at Rogers Arena so he'll be playing for Team Canada we remember that he was he was snubbed by Team Canada last year um, for the actual World Juniors so he's the odds on favorite to be the starting goalie for, for the junior team this year, considering that he was actually a, a name to the, the men's team, the, the senior team at the World Championships earlier this year. And of course, our, our last uh, fourth guy here, also defenseman, Tony Utenen, or Utenen, uh, defenseman from Finland. He was our fifth pick, uh, fifth round draft pick in 2018. So once again, we have 2017's pick, Michael DiPietro playing. We have 2018's Quinn Hughes playing. We have 2018's Jet Wu playing. And we have 2018's Tony Utenen playing as well. Lastly, a lot of news being made about this already as the U.S. has been playing in their, their first couple games. Quinn Hughes has been playing with his younger brother Jack. We know that Jack Hughes forward is going to be the, the consensus first overall pick next year. A lot of things lining up. The draft is in Vancouver next year. The Canucks will probably be near the bottom of the league for at least one or two more years. So maybe they have a chance to win the lottery. I, You know I'm not a member of team you know what. I can't even say the word. So I'm not advocating that they do that at all. But there's a chance that they, if they miss the playoffs and then enter the lottery, if they have a poor season, that they may actually have a chance or the lottery may fall their way. And imagine Jack Hughes playing with Quinn Hughes. The Canucks seem to have a good history with brothers playing together. Obviously, I'm talking about Daniel and Henrik and not any other combinations. So we'll see. That's down the road as well. But what uh, a few things to look for then in the upcoming, the last few games, August 2, 3, and 4, Sweden, Finland, Canada, the U.S., you get to see DiPietro, 
you get to see Quinn Hughes, you get to see Jet Wu, you get to see Tony Utenen, and when you're watching Quinn Hughes, you get to see his brother, Jack Hughes. And maybe that is a prelude to good things that are to come for the Vancouver Canucks down the road. Let's worry about that later. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. Love to hear, love to read and react to your comments. Whether you can talk about Hughes, talk about Wu, talk about Di Pietro, you can talk about Utenen, you can talk about Hughes and Hughes, you can talk about this beautiful scenery behind me, you can talk about why my sunglasses are so dark. They're not even sunglasses, they're eyeglasses, they're transitions. Now I'm going to walk back to where I'm staying and I'm probably going to look blind doing so. But it doesn't matter. I'm in a good mood. How can you not be in a good mood with this beautiful weather? Canucks fans, leave a comment below. I miss you guys. I'll see you soon. Leave a comment. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Like this video if you like what I'm doing. I'm gonna, man, that, doesn't that water look nice? Okay, you can tell I'm in a good mood. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Take care, God bless, and go Canucks, go.